Oh, that's so wholesome. This person just came up here and said, Happy New Year. Uh, anyways, sorry, <clears throat> I broke character. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video, I finally got 99 prayer, and that is a super nice one to be done with. Uh, at this point, there's not an insane amount left to do before maxing. I was saying at the end of the last video, I have a day of woodcutting, a bit of hunter, a bit of runecraft, and then there's a lot of herb lore to do. All I can really do for herb lore is just do as many farm runs as possible in the background of everything else I'm doing. I currently have enough XP banked to get me to about 97 and a half to maybe even close to 98 herb lore at this point, so not too far off from that. Plus, this video, I'm going to be hunting herbivore, which you get herbs from, and you bank about 15 to 20k herb lore XP per hour, I believe. Although I don't exactly have too many hours of hunter, I still have left to do. It's going to be maybe 20 hours, but yeah, I mean, that's a decent amount, I guess, in terms of herb lore XP. So, fun fact, all the herb lore XP I've gotten on my account, besides for maybe the occasional impling or something, it has all been from doing birdhouse runs. It's basically 97 hunter, all from birdhouses. I'm gonna put the prayer cape in the POH because when you have the max cape, it gives the perk of every single skill cape. So even if I was gonna possibly use this, I'm not PVMing before max anyway, so I definitely will not be using this. Just gonna quickly do my farm run first, of course. Like I said, I gotta stay on top of those. And then we'll head over to the herbivores and I'll show you like what my setup is gonna be and everything. And the goal of this video is going to be to get 99 hunter. I'm I'm estimating the amount of 4 dose stamina potions I'll need for 99 hunters probably going to be like between 100 and 150. Uh, with my Ring of Endurance, I do have it charged up with a bunch of stamina doses, so I guess I could probably cut that in half. But even so, I'm going to decamp these into 4 doses. I'm going to need a few more potions, most likely. Plus, uh, there's the passive effect of the Ring of Endurance, where if it has 500 or more charges, it passively reduces your run drain by 15%, and that doesn't use any charges. So I am always going to want to keep this above 500, and Spookdog put 50 more Staminas in the group storage for me, and it uh, looks like I unlocked two more group storage slots by opening this because I just got 99 prayer. So we should be set for Staminas now. I'm going to be making a lot of Stamina Pots on the way to 99 Herblore. I just don't want to train Herblore now, I just want to save that for last, so. We will have thousands of more Staminas, though, very soon. Before we start, I also want to clean all these grimy herbs I have. These are all the herbs, by the way, that I got from my Green Dragon grind because I brought the herb sack with me. But I'm going to clean all these because I want to keep track of how many grimy herbs I get from Herbivore. I'm not sure if the loot tracker is going to keep track because with the herb sack being open, it just puts the herbs automatically in there, so I don't think the rune light is going to track it. Um, so just to be safe, we'll clean up all these, which is also going to get us closer to the next herb lore level, uh, and I'll show you why that's important. The higher your herb lore level, the better herbs you can get, and the higher the level, the less of the worse ones you're going to get, and the more of the better ones you're going to get. So in a perfect world, it would be best to just use up all my herbs and get like 97 herb lore right now, but... This is going to sound like really nerdy, but it's only 20 hours of herbivore, so it's not that much. I'm going to be missing out on. I know it sounds bad, okay, but you know what? You know what? I, I just I just want to hunt them now. Before anything else, I have a very important Google search I have to do here because every single time I've ever made a video where I'm hunting herbivore or just saying herblore a lot, there's always freaking like European people or Australian people in the comments. They're like, what do you mean herblore? It's it's herblore. There's an H in there. Okay, we're going to Google this, okay? This website is the Cambridge Dictionary. Or, can't, dude, the, <laughs> it's this dictionary, okay? So here is the word, U.S. pronunciation. Herb. U.K. Hub. Uh, this one is dictionary.com. Herb. Or, especially British, herb. Here is the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. Herb. Or if you're British... It has an H in it. These comments have happened so much with such frequency and consistency that I genuinely don't know if those people are trying to be funny and like make a joke like, oh, look at you, you're American, or if they just, they genuinely think I'm pronouncing it wrong. So I hope that clears things up for the people that genuinely didn't know that. Uh, and then to the people who think it's funny to be American, well, then I'm glad I can inform you that there are in fact other cultures besides your own and that the world doesn't revolve around you. 
it revolves around the US. Yeah, there were a few more in the herb sack, but they're all clean now. Oh wait, almost all. Now they're all clean and I only got about 10K XP. I really, really enjoy hunting herbivore and it saddens me that I haven't gotten to do it yet on this account. I'm pretty sure, we'll check the count in just a second, but I really enjoy hunting them. I've done thousands of KC across all my accounts and I have gotten the pet once on my UIM. Oh, I'm so used to doing birdhouse runs. I came to this spot. I, I got it on the UIM and I would really like to get it on this account as well. I could see myself going out of the way post max to just do herbivore here and there for fun. And the pet is one out of 6.5k. Yes, I've harvested zero. First herbivore harvest on this account. Uh, the higher your hunter level, the more XP you get in hunter from them. And then you get one to three herbs, but if you have the magic secateurs equipped, you actually get between two and four. So you get one more herb on average. So you'll average three herbs per pluck. And let's just empty this out to see what we got here. Yeah, a lot of guams like you'd expect. And it looks like it did in fact show up on the loot tracker. So I'm actually really glad to see that. If you have the herb sack closed, by the way, uh, the herbs are just gonna go into your inventory and you'll have to manually add them. So just make sure you leave it open. Oh, I think the way Runelite is in fact able to track the herbs you get is because if you unfilter the game chat, it does in fact tell you what types of herbs you get when you harvest them. So the code in Runelite is like still able to pick that up or whatever. When I drink a sip of stamina with the Ring of Endurance equipped and charged up, it gives me the effects of two doses of stamina. So instead of getting 20% run restored, I'll get 40% run restored, as you saw. And instead of two minutes of stamina effect, I get four minutes of stamina effect. Now, common misconception, the Ring of Endurance does not give you like an extra free dose of stamina because I did have to charge it up at a one-to-one -one ratio of one charge per one stamina dose. So I'm basically just using two stamina doses at once. So I don't actually have to click on my staminas as often which I guess could be a good or a bad thing depending on what activity you're doing. I'd say it's definitely a lot more useful for Blast Furnace than it would be useful here. But yeah, about hunting these guys post-max, I think it'd be cool to do like a loot from 1k or loot from 2k. Yeah, actually it might have to be 2k because by the time I uh, get 99 Hunter on this account, I might already be at 1k, but I, I think it might be fun to do something like that. And this one is level 97 Hunter and I got attacked by the Amnite Crab. Uh, two more things that you get while doing this is Numulite, which is going to be really nice because you use those to unlock uh, the Fossil Island Notes in the collection logs. That's going to be 10 more collection log slots eventually. Oops. And then you also get Unidentified Fossils, which normally whenever my inventory starts to get filled up a bit with them, I just deposit them into this fossil storage box. There's one right here by the mycelium pool, so it's very convenient. Just whenever I happen to run by it in between herbivores. Man, everyone's making gains today. Oh, dude, okay, so we were rank, I didn't show this last video, but we were rank 16 on the high scores, but I grinded out a bunch of prayer levels, and then Spook's been grinding out a bunch of cooking levels, and we moved up at least a couple ranks from rank 16. Um, so in, in a bit, I'll log out, and we'll check the high scores, see what we're at now. Uh, okay, I think we're gonna get Guam's here. Yeah, okay, so I just filled up the herb sack, and really the only reason why I would have to leave herbivore is due to filling up the herb sack. Like I do want to keep everything I get, all the guams. A lot of people just drop the guams because you get so many and don't care about them. But as an Iron Man who likes collecting items, even though I'm never going to use them, I I like doing what I just said. But with each dose of stamina lasting me four minutes, each potion is 16 minutes. So really I, I'd be fine with just probably two potions or something. And I'd fill up the herb sack by then anyways, but uh, yeah, I'll just be banking whenever I start getting the guams in my inventory. I noticed the loot tracker doesn't track the nemulate or the fossils. Um, I don't really care about tracking the fossils for this video, but at least for tracking the nemulate, I basically have none in the bank to start with. So we'll see how much I get by the time I get to 99. I just wanted to test for one hour of hunting herbivore. And I feel like my rate is more relatable than like the uh, efficient rate because I've been watching YouTube and typing on Discord and stuff. Uh, so I feel like this is like what the average player would get per hour. 56 herbivores. This XP isn't exactly accurate because like I said before, it scales based on your hunter level. Well, I guess you could say 57. Uh, and then here's the loot from one hour. And of course, it doesn't show the, the names of them on Runelite, but there you go. And for my AFK time throughout this video, I'm just gonna be doing soul runes on Zaya to work towards 99 Runecraft. I am still gonna be doing birdhouse runs even after I get 99 Hunter because I'm always gonna want more nests for brews, but especially even more so for the egg nests. I haven't really been showing our high scores that often. I feel like it's probably been at least a couple months since I've shown them on here. Uh, but it looks like we moved up from rank 16 to rank 12 over the course of just the last video because we've both been getting so many total levels so fast. 
we've always kind of hovered between around like rank 10 to 20 ish. I think we, I think we were rank six at one point or something when group Iron Man was a lot newer. Eventually everyone will just be the same total level when the whole front page just gets filled with double maxed accounts. And really what it's going to come down to in the end is total XP. Odds are that some of these people currently on the front page will eventually quit. Now, of course, I remember that OSRS portal, which I've shown in a lot of videos. You've probably seen me show OSRS portal. It has an herbivore calculator, so I entered in everything and it already has the expected loot and the expected nemulite and fossils and everything. So, I mean, there you go, I, I guess. Like, what, what's even the point of doing like a loot from 1K video when you could literally just enter it into this? Uh, anyways, here's uh, the expected herblore XP. Oh, it's 22K per hour, it's better than I thought. I'm expected to bank 331k herb XP on the way to 99. It says 15 hours, but that's going by 64 catches per hour. And I showed you my rate before, I got like 56 or 57 in a somewhat casual hour. Don't believe this number, this catches per hour, this is a lie. If you actually enjoy my videos, then you're probably not an efficient player who's going to be getting this rate. So I'll bank 331k herb XP, but I'm curious if instead I had 97 herb or if I just used up all my herbs first. Okay. I would instead end up banking 355k herb XP. So that's really not that much of a difference. No. Ooh, a DM before bed, please. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so sorry, Iron Man. I only catch them for the sole purpose of having the off chance of being able to say that phrase. It's currently January 8th, 2023, and there's 123k people online, which is crazy because it's been quite a while, I'm pretty sure, since we've seen this many people. I was looking at um, it's uh, misplaced items. And it shows that you could sort by like the average player count, peak player count, sort by different time frames. Uh, and this is the amount of OSRS as well as RS3 players online. The blue line is the amount of OSRS players. So as you can see, there's always way more OSRS players playing. Now the amount of bots, I mean, that's arguable, but the fact is though, there's more accounts playing OSRS than RS3. But yeah, I just wanted to show this spike recently since it uh, looks like this is the end of November up through the start of January. A lot of people have been playing. I don't know if it's because of winter break or maybe job layoffs or what, but we haven't seen these levels in a while. I mean, a little spike at the start of 2022, and really it's been like, since 2020, we haven't seen this amount of average players online. You can sort by peak as well. We had the higher peak, but I feel like the average player counts is a better representation of the interest in the game. Even looking at the Google search trends for the term OSRS, there is currently quite a lot of relative popularity compared to the whole history of OSRS. Only reason I thought to check that is because the login servers were broken for a bit. So I'm like, huh, I wonder if there's a lot of people online. And sure enough, there were. Um, the login servers are fixed now though, so I can log back in. So if I get the Irby AFK plugin, apparently that's supposed to remove the 50-50 option. Sometimes there's two options, but I guess this one knows the right one. Oh, it makes a little a line go into it. Wow. So it knows which one is the right one out of these two options. Doesn't exactly look the prettiest, but it's very useful. Wait, I was supposed to... I just completely... <laughs> I was supposed to be doing a birdhouse run. I just started hunting herbivore. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not doing... I'm, I'm doing herbivore, not birdhouses. <laughs> this keeps happening. Ooh, eclectic. Wait, medium clue. Okay. There's a 66% chance that we're going to get the herb level here. Yep. There it is. 87 herb. It was interrupted immediately. This is what cleaning your herbs and doing your weekly tiers gets you. Oh my gosh. Base level 87 is on the group Iron Man. I should log out before the six hour log because it resets the track, I believe. So yeah, I'm glad I thought that first. I'm probably about to get logged out in like 30 seconds. I'm just going to do that. When you hunt herbivore, a lot of the time you'll accidentally click on the ancient fungi, which is annoying because you have to wait to pick it and then it starts attacking you. And uh, it could be dangerous as well for hardcore Iron Man skiller accounts. Uh, but if you make your NPC attack options be hidden, there's now no more pick option. And there is level 98 hunter and level 98 means I can now go to bed. Wait, I'm gonna do the thing. Easy. The last birdhouse I just checked, I got two clue nests from it. That's never happened to me before ever. I had no idea that was even a possibility. And yes, I know I missed the seeds in that last birdhouse. I was so excited about the, the double clue. Here's the last herbivore. Uh, once I attack the tunnel, that's gonna give us the level. So here we go. 99 Hunter. 
And that is 881 herbivores caught. And we'll buy the skill cape of Hunter. And let's put that on. We'll go out here and do the emote. And the perk of this skill cape is that it gives you teleports. It has five teleports per day, which you can use to either teleport to the red shins or the black shins, which are in the wildy. Uh, it'd be nice if it had unlimited teleports. Could be nice for certain clue steps or something, but uh, you probably won't get the clue step five times a day anyway, so. Now here's the loot from the 881 herbivore. I'll just hover the mouse over each of the herbs so you can see what they are. Um, yeah, I think I said earlier that the loot tracker is not keeping track of the Nemulite and the fossils. So let's go to the bank and see the total Nemulite now. I gained about 10,000 Nemulite, and then I might have banked some of the fossils, but the majority of the fossils will be in the storage on Fossil Island, so we could take a look at that. I guess I didn't show before I started this how many fossils I had, but it probably wasn't too many. Yeah, okay, here's what I got. It's a decent amount. I gotta finish the Varrock Museum at some point. I don't think I've done that, so I could get a little bit of herb lore XP from that. Uh, you could also trade in fossils for Nemulite, so if I ever get the, the Wyvern Visage, you need the Nemulite to charge it up. Or you could use it to unlock the pages for the Fossil Island notes, and there's some other stuff around Fossil Island you can unlock as well with Nemulite. When I've wanted to AFK the last few days, I've been going to Zaya to Runecraft Soul Runes, and I've gained about 250k Runecraft XP. And speaking of Runecraft, that is the skill that we're going to be getting to 99 in the next video. Yeah, at this point it's just like maybe five days of runecrafting possibly, and then it's me collecting secondaries and training herb lore while doing a little bit of AFK woodcutting here and there, but yeah, that's all we got left, dude. That's crazy. And after doing the birdhouse runs and farm runs, it brought my overall hunter XP per hour down to like a bit over 100k XP per hour instead of like the 150k XP per hour it'd be if I wasn't doing the farm runs. But that means there's about 20 hours of hunter this video to finish up 99. You can check out my duo teammate Spookdog's channel, link below in every video description to see what she's been up to while I've just been focusing on maxing. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you have a great day. I will see you again next time.